Okay, had a chance to work on your design, and you know probably the most challenging area is going to be over here. But I'll work through that in a second. I'll do the easy, easier parts first, and we probably don't have this a hundred percent the way you want it, but it is a starting point and open for discussion but obviously we have the sink wall area we would center the sink on the window I think you talked about having a single bowl sink so I've put that in the design dishwasher here we can make this three drawers if you want to like you have today I've for the moment I've put in a drawer two doors and then uh, behind these two doors is two rollout trays. Then I've got a tr double trash pull out here, working drawer on top. See the uh, wall cabinet here, two doors. Then you can see the valance going across the sink with a crown molding. And then I would put a recess light in here, centered on the window. We have this space here. From this edge to this edge is 15 inches. Your existing, because I went with a 33 inch sink base cabinet right here, um, and a 21 here. Uh, this is 15 inches here. Your existing uh, stove is 13 and a half inches, I believe, from this window trim. We've had we have a nine inch cabinet here to the right of your stove that is used for cookie sheets stored on a vertical. Then we'd have a dedicated vent within this cabinetry here. These two doors wouldn't be storage because that's that gives room for the vent and the ductwork. And we have a wall cabinet here. The peninsula at the moment I have a bank of drawers, bank of drawers, but we can change these two cabinets to whatever you, you'd like. So we have three drawers here and I got four drawers here. The bottom drawer on this cabinet being a bigger drawer. Then on the other side I've got storage here. So this would be a little easier access rather than having a blind corner cabinet on this side of the kitchen. Then on the refrigerator area, I've kept the refrigerator in the same spot. That's where this would go. We'd have a panel to give that refrigerator a built-in look then this would be where the microwave goes. Uh, you can put a microwave drawer in here and this would be a drawer at the bottom. Wall cabinet at the top. And of course this is where your coffee bar area would be. At the moment this cabinet, this base cabinet is 30 inches wide by 24 inches deep. And then we have, we'll call it the dining area. I'm going to give you some measurements so you can see if you have the room for this yourself. I think you do. Um, this storage here would be significant. I think you'd enjoy it a lot. Now, if you think that's too much storage, we can certainly get rid of this cabinet, and then maybe that allows this chair a little bit more room. 
um, and then just keep these two cabinets. Um, I think if there's a, I think there's a heat register on this floor, so what I would do is put a uh, right at the toe kick area right where my mouse is. I'd put a vent, and I'd uh, allow the heat and create a little bit of a chase. So I allow the heat to go out um, the bottom of the cabinet. I'd do the same thing for this cabinet because you have a return in this corner a heat return the other thing I could do on this wall is I could do a tall cabinet get my marker a tall cabinet and a tall cabinet but then in the middle I could do a base cabinet with a drawer a, uh, a door two doors and then a wall cabinet so there would be a countertop in the middle if you think the uh, that would be a good idea for a landing area if you don't know what I mean I can I can draw it for you it's a little easier probably to do it that way but if you can visualize but happy to draw that for you I've done it a number of times then over here we're talking about the dry bar area. This is 17 deep storage with uh, doors and we could probably put rollout trays in here. It gets a little, um, the storage gets a little skinny though when you have rollout trays because the hardware takes up some space but at the very least we'd have an adjustable shelf in here, probably a full depth shelf instead of uh, the more standard half depth shelf. Then you got wall cabinets up above here. Of course we're going to have crown molding just like we have over on the sink area. I just haven't drawn it yet because I know this is this is preliminary. We, uh, we're just uh, talking about the idea of doing this sort of thing. This wall here is probably easier um, because you already have storage there today, but this wall here is easier than certainly this wall. This requires a little bit more thought because I know you want to have enough room for your table. Now, this is uh, some measurements for you uh, that uh, you can maybe, I don't know if your table is 36 inches wide, but uh, perhaps it is, and that might make it easier. You can jot down these measurements and you can see that we're about 54 inches from this wall here to the edge of the table and 38 inches from this wall here to the edge of the table. And you can see the 36 wide table and you can see the measurements on this side as well. So this 36 is to the edge of this cabinet. This 48 is to the wall. And then the light fixture, of course, would be moved to accommodate the new location of the table. And yes, when you walk in the hallway, this table shows up. But you take a quick right, and hopefully it doesn't become a problem. This table is 60 inches long at the moment. This cabinet over here is your vanity cabinet. Let's, that one's pretty easy to chit chat about. I haven't put a sink in it, but I will. Um, it's 34 and a half inches high and 21 inches deep. So it's the taller version. Might be a touch wider too than what you have today because I think you had the room. But I wanted to show you some progress. I know we're probably not 100% there. And maybe you want to do some... A lot of folks use blue tape on the floor to outline this table. And then maybe put a chair near it. So basically take the table out of the way altogether. and Or maybe use the table if it's the right size, the 36 by 60 
which is a common size table, and move it appropriately um, from this wall to the edge as shown in this area. So if you want to pause the video, you can do that and jot down some figures. And then maybe put an obstacle here that's 12 inches off the wall because this cabinet is 12 inches and see if you have the room for that table. Then if you don't, then we can uh, make some adjust adjustments. But this is what I've figured so far. And I will welcome any feedback you have. Certainly if you want me to clarify anything, I will.